All right, following up on yesterday's video, because I've seen a lot of people popping up in the comments about like, okay, what about Deadpool cosplayers? They're usually pretty cool. Listen, and I mentioned it a little in that video, but also I know it's literally seven minutes and short form content is not my friend. So TLDR, go watch that one before you make any comments about what about this? What about that? Do your own research on what I have to say. Anywho, so the thing about the Deadpool cosplayers or Spider-Man cosplayers or any masked, like, full body mask or cookie cutter version of a popular character that you might see in mass is that they're always a yellow flag. They have to be a yellow flag because it is the anonymity of that kind of just generic suit covers them head to toe. If they wanted to harass someone, say something inappropriate or otherwise, and then just disappear, even if you go to con safety afterwards or staff and tell them, hey, I had a bad run in with this person. Well, what did they look like? Well, they were dressed as Spider-Man. Really narrows it down to the other 150 Spider-Men that are running around right now doing the Spider-Man meme. So, in other words, that's what a lot of these people in those full suits will take advantage of. Now, if they are doing, like, a Deadpool or a Spider-Man, but they're in, like, something very identifying, like a maid dress, or they are a Pika pool, that's different. And usually those are big old green flags, great people, really funny. If you go to a convention and you have an unfortunate encounter with somebody, while they are still unfortunately encountering you, look over them. Look for identifying features. Look at their bag or backpack. Look at their shoes. And lastly, try to take a gander at their badge. If their badge is around their neck, that's ideal. But look around for it. If you don't see it right away, go, oh, hey, do you have your badge on you? Like, did you drop your badge? I don't see it. Or otherwise, you can say, your badge is backwards. Here, let me flip it around for you. Otherwise, they're going to get yelled, like they're going to yell at you. You know, something like that where you can quickly see because most badges at conventions have some kind of like identifying number on them nowadays so that if it gets lost, it can be tied back to the person who lost it. Might just straight up have their name on it. Again, it just depends. In my experience, most of them have some kind of identifying little code, like four digits, whatever. And you can quickly take a gander at that and try to remember it. Um, alternatively, just as a side note, when you go to a convention, the minute you get your badge in your hand, please take a picture of it. Trust me when I say it will make your life a whole lot easier if you by any chance forget your badge, lose your badge, drop your badge, whatever happens. This will make it easier so that you can very quickly get it rectified and don't have to have it be a whole hoopla. Also makes it easier if somebody else turns it in for you. I had to pull one of those myself at Momocon. I found one on the ground. Me for more villain life coaching, because remember, turning them in and making sure that you have a way to like sick con staff on them in particular if you were too nervous or otherwise like non-confrontational to do anything in the moment is not necessarily about being a hero and stopping them in their tracks from harassing others although that is a perk realistically we're just there to ruin his day